28 million housing units. This is what Nigeria requires to bridge its housing deficit. The development in Nigeria's real estate sector has had little or no impact. The houses available are not for the masses who are in dire need of adequate shelter. This and more is what the conference hopes to address. We can't be talking about delivering or providing housing to the masses that they cannot be able to uh, 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 afford. We're talking about affordability of these houses. And if you build a house that is not affordable, then the house is not meant for the masses. I read a statistics uh, over the weekend that disturbed me a bit, which says that less than 10% of workers, both public and private, and less and more than 60,000 Naira a month. I repeat that less than 10% of workers, both private and public, and more than 60,000 Naira a month. That's a very disturbing statistics. And I think for us as legislators, I think that the onus is on us to create more enabling environment, increase the wages of workers, to give them uh, the opportunity and the ability to be first time home buyers, uh, and all that to be able to also earn, earn a decent living. While the federal government says its housing program was slowed down by the coronavirus pandemic in 2020, Nigeria's housing crisis cannot be tackled under one administration. We are on the final stages of a comprehensive 10-year national housing strategy. The strategy, the first of its kind, bringing input from both the private and the public sector players has a number of primary objectives. Number one, and I think one of the speakers earlier mentioned this, harmonization of all existing and housing initiatives and programs. We need to catalog who is doing what and how can we improve efficiencies and results by improving collaboration. The regulatory role the government is playing and the, the actual provision role the private sector is playing tend to get uh, at cross purposes with, uh, with each other. We must have to, in this conference, bring to fore the objectives of the two. Government seems not to know what should be the role of government when it comes to issue of housing. The government does not have no business, government has no business in constructing houses. The only business government has is to create enabling environment through the formulation of policies, laws that will help the growth of housing agencies, housing organizations, private institutions. That's all. As stakeholders position to discuss means of financing housing in Nigeria and the continent, finding a solution to housing for a population where 75% are reported to be living below the poverty line looks daunting. Only Sunday, Arise News.